friends of On The Go Puerto Rico. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, welcoming you to a new show from the wonderful Convention Center District in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And let's get this show on the road. And we're here with Stephanie Viguier, another wonderful woman wearing multiple hats in a great place called the Beer Garden in the gardens of the Puerto Rico Convention Center. It's a beautiful place. Congratulations. Uh, tell us about the ambiance and the experience that people can get here when they visit the Beer Garden. So uh, this is called El Beer Garden, of course. It's a beer garden. We have over 120 beers. We have, it's also a pizza place, like a p rustic pizza. So artisanal pizza, everything is made in-house. We have over 22 flavors of pizza. And it's right in the heart of the convention center. It's a garden, so it's like a long in the whole heart of convention district. Uh, it's a place to come hang out, you can come with family, it's a great place for to have birthdays, events, also date nights, so it has multiple aspects to it because you have like this amazing outdoor space, uh, you're with nature and you have just great food and a great experience. We have Saturdays here as well, uh, live DJs, uh, which plays sunset beats, like house music, and people co like to come and celebrate either for date night or just come with their friends and celebrate. It's a great place. And you're telling me there's 22 different pizzas. I heard something about the black crust. What is that all about? I should probably ask your sister. She's the chef, but tell me about the black mamba, is it? She's the one that, yeah, came up with, with it. Yeah, the black mamba crust it's a uh, an in-house homemade dough that we make here and it's black because it's activated charcoal uh, and it gives it that touch it also gives it a very slight change of flavor but it's really good it has been really popular and it's just a different way to to have this traditional pizza that everybody loves from kids to adults and then you can have it very differently and taste something new Well, I'm glad to find it because it's a surprise to me. I didn't come for the pizza. I wasn't coming for the beers. I was coming for a vegan dinner that you guys hold monthly. So I'm very satisfied and surprised with all this that I'm finding out today. What can you tell us about the vegan dinner? It's monthly. Where can people buy tickets? We're going to talk about the food a little later, but tell us about the specs. It's a five course gourmet and everything is made in-house vegan dinner. Everything is made by my Chef Michelle, my sister. She is wonderful, she's vegan, and she pays attention uh, very well, as you will see with her, to all the details. And it's, it has been a great, great offer, and people have been so welcoming of it. Uh, vegans and non-vegans alike have been like crazy over our vegan dinners. That even carnivores are liking it. So for those viewers watching us, where can they log on to buy those tickets? Yes, uh, we announce them through social media at El Beer Garden Pizza Rustica. That's our Instagram and our Facebook handle. You can buy them in the link of the profile or also at bodegardistrito.com. Uh, that's also where you can find the, the tickets. And, but we announce it monthly as well, the dates. What I would suggest for that monthly dinner that's coming after this show airs, go and buy them quickly because they're going to be gone. This is quite packed today, so I can't wait to speak to your sister so she can explain what we'll be trying out today. Thank you so much. We love it. Thank you. We're here with the chef of El Beer Garden, Michelle Viguier. Thank you for having us. Um, I spoke to your sister before and I found out so many things that I didn't know about the place, but I came here for the vegan dinner. So I have to ask you first and foremost, what inspired you to make a monthly vegan dinner here in the Convention Center of Puerto Rico? I think what inspired is the need for gourmet vegan experiences in Puerto Rico. Coming from California, where you have so many options there, and Puerto Rico does it better. So that's yes. what inspired me, um, along with my brother-in-law, which is the owner of El Beer Garden. Um, since I've loved, I've always loved to cook for family and friends, and he came home so many times, that's brought the spark, and we said. Let's create something gourmet, very nice, and yeah, basically that. <laughs> and it was gourmet, and it was very nice, so I must ask you, what are some of the challenges that you encounter creating a vegan menu? Oof, not, <laughs> not using processed foods, 
um, not using sugar and creating and the same textures, the same flavors without those those ingredients. Like for example, how can you do a red cake without using red dye? Because I don't like to use, I don't use artificial colors, artificial flavors, or nothing processed. It's all plant-based, it's all natural food that's good for you. So let's speak about the five dishes that we'll be trying out here today. Okay, first, We'll start out with a pumpkin soup with a coconut milk panna cotta. The panna cotta melts as soon as it hits the hot soup, so it melts. <laughs> and refreshes the mouth. And refreshes the mouth. And then, since we're in summer in Puerto Rico, it's so hot, then we move on to a salad with a glacial made out of cashew, so it's sort of like an ice cream consistency without sugar. Without calling it ice cream because it could scare people, but not. It is refreshing, it is exciting in the mouth. Exactly. Then we move on to uh, stuffed dates with cream cheese wrapped in carrot bacon. That, that, that with a balsamic reduction, that is an explosion to the mouth. It is, it was, it is. <laughs> And like I said, if you don't have an explosion in your mouth, it's not done. <laughs> that explosion that you want to come back for more. Exactly. A good explosion. <laughs> yeah. And that I hear is the piece de resistance of this menu, but in my opinion, it's the next dish that is the best dish of this menu. Yes. It's um, an alcapurria filled with jackfruit ropa vieja, which is oof, delicious. Uh, Top with a cilantro sauce made out of cashews. I love cashews. We were talking about yes. this um, a few minutes ago. Something cold, again, because of the hot. Uh, it's an apple fritter with banana, a homemade banana ice cream, no sugar. And no preservatives we were exactly. speaking of. Exactly. So that's why it, it melts a little bit under the heat if you don't eat it fast, so that's good. Um, drizzled with homemade Nutella. Natural, good for you Nutella. Um, no sugar and milk. <laughs> Can you give us a sneak peek of what's coming up next month or do you plan it as you go? Ooh, I plan it as I go, but I've been planning a ahi tuna, like a ahi tuna inspired made out of watermelon. You won't know it's watermelon. It's a long cooking process. Um, so I invite you. Uh, also to come to try it out. <laughs> and we will be here and of course you heard it before if you want to get your tickets get them in advance because it was already packed today and I can't imagine what's going to happen when all of you watch this on On The Go Puerto Rico. Thank you chef. Thank you for making this an oasis in the heart of the convention center. Thank you. <laughs> Dive into a sea of style and flavor at the all-new Ocean Lab Brewery Store exclusively at Vivo Beach Club. More than 30 camp designs, tees, rash guards, rain jackets, hoodies, weekend bags, backpacks, and even merchandise for your furry friends. Quench your thirst with over 30 labels of Ocean Lab beer featuring experimental flavors you won't find anywhere else. Gift giving made easy. Choose from our ready-made selections or create a custom box of Ocean Lab goodness for that special someone. Everyone's invited. Visit the Ocean Lab Brewery Store seven days a week during Vivo Beach Club's opening hours. Can't make it? Scan the QR code on your screen and shop online. Ocean Lab, where style meets the sea. Si quieres mejorar tu fuerza, flexibilidad, equilibrio, postura y manejo del estrés, en Pilateros tenemos un grandioso equipo que te ayudará a alcanzar tu mejor versión. Tenemos clases para todas las edades, horarios flexibles y dos localidades completamente equipadas ubicadas en San Juan y Guaynabo. 
Programa tu primera clase hoy en pirateros.com. Somos pirateros. Accompany us on a trip down memory lane with the Yapirim Rose and Blue Madeleine from Atelier de Sorts, exclusively at La Leur at the Mall of San Juan with its creator, Jean-Philippe Clermont. And here we are with Jean-Philippe, creator of Atelier de Sorts, a beautiful place with a beautiful home in Grasse, which of course is the, the cradle of perfumes in Paris and the world. Congratulations on your villa. What can you tell us about it? Thank you very much, Maricel. So actually, uh, we are a French-based uh, uh, perfume uh, company, uh, and uh, we acquired a year ago in uh, a villa, uh, which has been built in 1886. So it's a very old one, and it has seen the rise of the French eau de perfumery in Grasse, which is the, the capital of perfume uh, in France. It's located south of France on the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, it's the place where we do our creation. It's the place where we uh, welcome uh, all uh, of our partners, and uh, I can invite you when you're around. Uh. You're the creator. Uh, you don't uh, create the scent. You're not the nose. You have assembled a great team of people. And how do you put your grain of salt, let's say, in the perfume world? So actually, um, uh, I'm working with uh, Marie Salamagne. Marie Salamagne is uh, acclaimed and seasoned perfumer. Um, she's extremely talented, so I don't have, uh, I don't have that uh, that competence so it was for me obvious that I wanted to work with uh, with someone uh, uh, as talented as she as she is and actually the way we, we work together is that uh, I'm uh, leading the creation I'm bringing the idea so for instance uh, with uh, the latest collection memory line uh, we speak about uh, the roots the history of the French perfumery and uh, and uh, and so I come to her I bring the ideas uh, the story I would like to share with you here in Puerto Rico and she's the one who's selecting the ingredients uh, making the formula and then we try together and we see if it's uh, true actually to the initial idea and we rework until we are uh, convinced and we are uh, we are happy with the with the final uh, the final scent and that has been the case for the 23 cents that you currently have under atelier de source Yes, uh, uh, the 23 have been designed uh, together uh, because I do like, uh, you know, to have a certain uh, loyalty. Uh, I like uh, when uh, we can work over time uh, because since we know each other for more than 10 years now, uh, we do have that perfect understanding and sometimes we don't even need to speak, you know, to understand each other. Uh, so when she lets me discover the, the, the fragrances, automatically she knows uh, what's my, uh, if I like, if I dislike, what's my, uh, my, my idea about it. Uh, she can read my, uh, my face. Uh, And, uh, and we have that uh, perfect communication. We don't want to lose that person. <laughs> definitely not, definitely. And what can you tell us about the two particular scents that we're launching here today at La Leur? Yes, so uh, it's called, the collection is called Memory Lane. Uh, so it's about taking that lane uh, and um, it's about the evocating power of perfume. So we have one which is called Villa Primrose. So actually that's the name of our villa in, uh, in Grasse. And it's a rose and leather accord. Uh, because in grass uh, in the uh, 15th and 16th century you had some leather manufacturers and uh, uh, we had a trend coming from Italy uh, to, to scent uh, uh, leather gloves. Uh, actually it was to get rid of that uh, smell, uh, the strong smell of, of the leather so they were scenting leather and it speaks about that. So we have that rose and leather accord, so it's a, it's a very soft uh, leather, just like a suede. And actually it's between, um, you know, it's a contrast between the past and the present, between the strengths of the leather and the softness of the rose. And here in that one, we are using a, a, a infusion of rose. So we are actually uh, leaving the rose petals, uh, maturing into, uh, into, into alcohol. And uh, it's a very slow process, so we are having a very natural uh, rose uh, smell. And uh, it's not aggressive for the for the petals, and it's a beautiful, uh, realistic rose. It is an absolutely beautiful scent. It smells like uh, the finest leather goods store that you could walk into. And tell us about the Blue Madeleine. So the Blue Madeleine, the other one, it's about an invitation to push the door of our villa. So you have here a small representation right behind you. And it's to sit together to share a cup of tea. And then in that one, we're going to pour, uh, we're going to dip. 
a Madeleine, so it's a French, uh, a French cookie. And um, in French, when you say it's my Madeleine, uh, it's a synonym of my uh, uh, childhood, my cherished memories. And actually, the idea is to bring back those uh, memories, those childhood memories. So it's a happy moment we share together. That is beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Really, it is about the experience of the sense. It's not just wearing something. It's knowing what the sense should evoke. So we thank you for your words. And we hope to see you again here exclusively at La Leur, at the Mall of San Juan. Thank, thank you. Welcome to Casa Azul Maricel. Thank you very much, Aida. I have to say, you really have a knack for showing me unique homes and selling unique homes. Talk to me about this beauty. This is an architectural gem. This house is designed by Sarah Strauss. She's a renowned architect, and the way she called it is waterfall. The architect thought of everything. The light comes in right at 12th and she thought of a waterfall. This is why the 22 feet high skyline up there. Beautiful. Yes. Well, it is massive. I love the land where it sits and the interiors. How big is this? Yeah. So inside gross living area, we have more than 4,500 square feet. And if you add the additional terraces and the deck on the pool, you have additional 3,000 more. So it's a pretty spacious home. And one of the loveliest things here is the view. And of course, you're looking at a surf beach. Yes. I'm guessing you see the whales in the sea. Yes. And yes, this is the perfect spot to see uh, the whales. We are very close to Sandy Beach. And the house is greatly located because you walk a minute to the beach for your own top, so it's very breezy. You have breakfast, boutiques, it's just the perfect location. And this street is very private, only 10 homes, all are custom designed, so you have a great community within walking distance to the beach. What I love about it too is that when you walk in, everything is open plan, so you see the sitting area, so you see the dining room, which you can close off, I'm guessing? Yes, the first floor has a very, very open layout, and you can play around moving the dining area or, or have an office on the first floor. Right. And then on the lower level, you have a huge gym. The space is used as a gym now. It has a bathroom with a steam room. How many bedrooms? So we have three bedrooms. Each bedroom is very spacious. It has its own bathroom. Um, two of the bathrooms have a top and the other has a double shower. We have a second floor terrace, additional to the deck on the pool on the main floor. And then you can go up to the rooftop. And the rooftop has unobstructed views. I spent some time up there. You can listen to the waves, see the birds. The, it's just perfect. Every spot of the house has a beautiful ocean view, has privacy, and it's just the most beautiful house I've seen. What night? It's very special because you can watch the sunset and then you see the lights to the Aguadilla Bay. So at night, the ocean is flat, but you have ocean during the day, the view to Aguadilla Bay at night, and it's just perfect. Well, I think the last thing our viewers need is to know how much the house is listed for and where can they find out more information. Yes, the house is listed for 4850000 and it's listed on oneisrealty.com and you can call the number on the screen. It's on Paradise Luxury, so you have to check it out for yourself.
Cocina Movimiento by Chef Mariano Sena is a culinary expression with the objective of designing experiences with a personal touch that characterizes the Bohemia team. Conceptually, they're not a restaurant, and breaking with the established is what brings their guests to live grand experiences. Chef Sena created a special meal where he prepared a menu by cooking meats and vegetables three different ways. Smoked on the cross, the traditional curanto, a typical Argentinian way of cooking in a shallow hole on the ground, and his own conception, the Argent Rican technique, where he puts steak on a stick for a special group of people invited by American Express to one of Bohemia's homes, Hacienda Siempre Viva in Calle. While we're in Rincón, we're going to take advantage and educate you, our viewers, and myself about an interesting, beneficial drink called kombucha. It is made right here in Caribe Kombucha, Road 115, next to the post office, by Megan Williams. And here we are in the interior of Caribe Kombucha in Rincón, Puerto Rico, with its owner and founder, Megan Williams. Thank you so much for giving me a short notice. I've really uh, taken a look at this place every time I've been in Rincón and I hadn't been by to interview you and meet you. And this is so important. I think uh, kombucha might be misunderstood by people. So I really wanted to ask you, what is it about kombucha? Why is it good for the body and for the gut? Well, so many things are good for us and you know, there's so many foods that like to claim health benefits, but kombucha is so unique right. um, because it offers things that are just really hard to find in other foods. So the probiotics, kombucha is one of the best source of living probiotics. And what probiotics do is help us digest and absorb the nutrients from food we eat. So if we don't have enough healthy probiotics in our system, it doesn't really matter what we're eating. You could be eating a variety of vegetables and fruits, but if you don't have probiotics to help you absorb them, right. it doesn't really matter. But kombucha, you have to leave it natural for it to be beneficial. So, um, yes, but the sparkliness, we love that we're providing a sparkly cold option that's yes. healthy because we live in the tropics. People love sparkly full beverages, but less and less people, well, more people are choosing to drink less alcohol. Um, yeah, they say it's that is a trend. I like it. Yes, and so we love being another option for that. Just, we see it on, on the rise a lot. People are tagging us in stories, like instead of drinking alcohol, and also it's a really good option to soda because it's so low in sugar and it actually helps balance your blood sugar. Okay, well let's start trying some. Okay. We have six flavors on tap. Yeah. Do you change the flavors around? Look at that color. Yes, natural color. Remolacha. That's beet. Yeah. And pineapple and ginger? This one's beet pineapple ginger. Okay. It's actually uh, the best selling flavor. Mm. And on, a, on an island where beets are not very common, it's actually one of the f kids' favorites, like all the kids. And it's great because actually I need to eat beet for my health. I am low on some things that are, it, it, beet has a lot of them. Okay, let me have some more. I love spicy everything. So I can't wait to try the okay. mango jalapeno. Okay, great. This is one. Let me get back in there. Okay. And so the spicy element doesn't affect the kombucha or the health or the... No, this probiotic. is mostly kombucha. We just add when the kombucha is ready, which it, it brews from anywhere from 20 to 24 days. Then we add real juice in this case. This is really good. I'm taking some of this to San Juan. This is really good. It is a great alternative to an alcoholic drink, like you said. Yeah. And some people like to add alcohol and make it their mixer because it actually has electrolytes. Okay. So oh. I don't like making claims, but it, people tell me it prevents hangover. This is really good. Okay. So I'll try something else. Yeah. I'll try everything. We're going to do this. This is tamarindo. This is another flavor we only serve seasonally. I love tamarind, you know, with some drinks like vodka or something. Yeah. Tamarind is great. I love it. And I love tamarind icicles and whatnot. So it's most like kombucha. We just add a little bit of tamarind paste at the end of the brewing yeah. cycle. So do you have just kombucha for those people who like to um, try things at home? Sometimes people come in asking for a scoli to get started at home and we'll do that. Mm -hmm. But not right now. Because it's like the, the bread, the masa madre, no? It's a, it's a culture. So how long have you kept your, your culture alive? I love this question. So I started eight years ago, at least, at the farmer's market. And, you know, I started with a little scoby from somebody in Cabo Rojo. Okay. And we now have 80 pots. And some the scoby, some of them are really big. 
Um, but we just kept building school. Like school bees keep growing. Okay. And so for one little tiny one, a year later, I have 80 huge ones. Wow. Well, congratulations. And congratulations on getting during the pandemic. You told me that doctors were driving all the way from San Juan to buy your, what is it, fire ginger? Fire cider. Fire, fire cider, which is, a lot of people are taking apple cider by the spoonful. Right. You know, just for its benefits. And this one, what benefits does this give you? And this is apple cider vinegar infused for 30 days with almost 30 different plants. So onion, garlic, peppers, oregano, rojo, basil, a lot of different herbs, uh, black pepper, turmeric, ginger. And that's everything that's good for you. So speaking about the things you have available outside the store, you're not only selling in Puerto Rico, you're also selling in the U.S. Virgin Islands, our brothers and sisters there? Yes, all those cans you can find in like Supermax, Fresh Mart, and McConnell in Puerto Rico, but also in St. Thomas and St. John. I mean, people can find out more information. Do you have a website where you have information about kombucha and its benefits? Yeah, we're actually letting people your website right now. Hopefully it'll be done soon. But our Instagram page, you can find a ton of information. Caribe Kombucha. Caribe Kombucha. Well, thank you very much. And give me a liter of that pineapple. <laughs> no, what was it? The mango jalapeno. That's fine. Yes, because you can only get that one here. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching week after week. We couldn't do this without you, our viewers, and of course, our sponsors. Thank you very much. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, saying farewell. We'll see you next time on another On The Go Puerto Rico. Promont Kids is a state-of-the-art pediatric facility that prioritizes children's well-being and your peace of mind. Our concierge service provides personalized medical care with 24-7 access to an urgent care team dedicated to ensure you receive the attention and care you deserve. Plus, next day and on-time appointments that respect your valuable time. Proven Kids offers the best and most convenient health care for children in Puerto Rico. To learn more, visit our website at provenkids.com.